Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to some more Destiny 2 news. The news just keeps on coming. With maintenance finally over, we're going to be talking all things about Season of Arrivals, which is Shadowkeep's final season before Destiny 2 Beyond Light launches September 22nd. Before we dive into all the details, if you missed the uh, launch gameplay trailer for Season of Arrivals, we'll get to that first and then bring, break you down on all the information from Season 11. Without further ado, I'll see you after the trailer is over. Enjoy. The Almighty has been reduced to smoldering ash. And with allies like Rasputin, who can stop us? From Titan to Mercury, their shadow reaches. Is their message a warning? A trick? We can't know until we hear their words for ourselves. You bring weapons. You will not need them. We offer only truth. The darkness reached out. But something interferes. The witch sister of the Taken King, Savathun. We are the final line that halts the second collapse. yourself, Guardian. This battle is not over. Okay, folks, there you have it. So, uh, that's your uh, gameplay trailer for this. Now let's delve into all the information regarding the Season of Arrivals, which is the 11th season for Destiny 2. So, uh, here's the information regarding the story and activities. Fragments of the vanquished Almighty burn in the sky, but celebration is cut short as a mysterious pyramid ships, or as mysterious ships, reveal themselves throughout the system. The obscured message emerges from the darkness. Is it a greeting, a threat, or something else altogether? Well, uh, your two allies, Eris and Savala, will call upon you to find out. So, there's definitely going to be a couple of new missions in there. So definitely check that out. Um, we'll keep on scrolling down. Okay, yeah, that's a good picture of the pyramid right there. So, uh, let's scroll down here. Oh, actually, let's go to in the shadow for, uh, first here. A dark omen enters our system and a signal howls through the emptiness of space. Darkness begins to reveal itself on Io and within the heart of the cradle. In the shadow of the pyramid ship, you must search for answers. So as we scroll down a little bit more, um, your first of three information here is darkness. Collect new umbral engrams and focus them to unlock rewards from previous seasons. The next one here is interference. Understanding the message is the beginning. Building the weapon is the end. You'll need to journey to the cradle and uncover the truth hidden within. And of course, contact. Uh, joining guardians and public events beneath the pyramid ship on Io, where an untapped power has summoned the enemies of humanity. Okay, so that's the information we got for story and activities. The next one is the dungeon. Before we dive to information on the dungeon, they also released a trailer for this too. And just let you know, before I play this here, oh, let's get rid of this here. I don't know why. There we go. Alright, so before I play this here, just let you know the dungeon goes live in just a couple of hours from now, later tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time on June 9th, right here on Destiny 2, of course. So let's play the trailer, and then we'll dive into some more information.
Now let's talk more about the dungeon. It's called Prophecy, which is our third dungeon mission in Destiny 2. And just let you know, this is available to all Destiny 2 players, but we'll explain more of that in a little bit. So the information here, the pyramid ships are approaching and you must venture wherever answers lie. You'll need to enter the realm of the Nine, or in Roman numerals, IX, a dimension where the rules of your world no longer exist. Face hordes have taken and manipulate reality to solve intricate puzzles. What was once above is now below, and what was once light is now dark. So as we take a look at the uh, sets right here, this is the Daito Foundry Armor Set, and also the reprised version of Trials of the Nine. So the armor and weapons are definitely coming back, and we haven't had those since the Reckoning. And of course, from Bungie Rewards, if you complete Prophecy, you'll also unlock a purchasable Trials of the Nine hoodie. You'll need to log in uh, to the website here, bungie.net slash en slash profile slash rewards. View all of the Season of Arrivals Bungie Rewards as they will come, become available. So there you go. Next up, a brand new exotic weapon has been introduced to the Season 11 uh, pass here called Wither Horde. Uh, this is the brand new exotic grenade launcher. Your foes will stumble on the trembling earth left in your wake. Charge the catalyst, blanket the sky with ash, and light the darkness with flame. And there's also a brand new Season 11 artifact, which is called Seed of Silver Wings. This is available to all Destiny 2 players. You'll have new ways to customize, new seasonal mods, and new choices to make. You'll increase your power artifact every time that you upgrade the Seed of Silver Wings. <clears throat> Or just by um, leveling up, of course. Okay, and and then of course every season has the season pass, of course, with gear, XP, rewards, etc., etc. Plus, you'll be able to get an XP boost, which will speed up your seasonal ranks and Engram unlocks. And by the way, I will have a video for not only the artifact, not only the artifact, but the uh, oh, what's the other one there? The um, season pass yeah so the artifact and the season pass i have a video for that but it'll be coming up very very soon these are just three of the th of the things that you'll be seeing from the roadmap which will be revealed in just a moment and that's just progression right here this is the season pass we already talked about that <clears throat> sorry for that uh so what's included for the pass of course well available to all destiny two players uh, yeah, for Destiny 2 players, you'll get the dungeon, the new public activity, moments of triumph, sources of heroes, a new artifact and mods, mods to unlock, the new season progress track with some unlockable rewards. And for season pass owners, all six mentioned over here, uh, there is going to be a new weekly mission, a brand new exotic weapon quest. You'll instantly unlock the new exotic grenade launcher. You'll get bonus XP, and you'll also unlock the seasonal armor set for each class. Just like that. Now, here comes the big part, ladies and gentlemen. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Whoops is definitely not on there. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's get right into business here. Uh, not a whole lot being explained over here for the Season of Arrivals roadmap, but of course, uh, we have the brand new contact public event it will arrive on io this is the new pve activity it's not a six player activity you can have as many as you want um to grind for new legendary weapons and armor so that's new contact public event there is a heroic version on that we already seen one youtuber do it already go check out uh, the beast channel himself uh, esoteric for more information so that's starting right now and also starting pretty much either right now or at 8 o'clock later on tonight on June 9th. Uh, we have the third dungeon coming your way, which is called Prophecy. It's free for all players. It has the returning uh, nine-themed armor along with the new Dado legendary armor. We also have the brand new mission called Interference and the weekly quest. This will refresh weekly. So it will happen on the weekly reset and you'll earn Pinnacle Gear. Just like that. Next up, from July 7th all the way to September 22nd, we have Moments of Triumph coming your way. You'll earn some triumphs and show off your rewards. There's going to be some new triumphs and seals 
coming your way. And then finally on the roadmap from August 11th through September 8th, Solstice of Heroes Returns. This is a free event for all Destiny 2 players with new glowing legendary armor. And of course it says, and more. Obviously there's going to be exotic quest lines. Um, as we scroll right back up, uh, let's see. Okay, so this one requires the season pass. Now, it's not mentioned on the roadmap, but there is an exotic trace rifle quest. Um, I think it's probably going to be called the Equinox. That's probably my best guess, but it's not mentioned on the roadmap. But hopefully between now and roughly September 21st, we should be able to get that exotic quest line. I think they're going to keep that a secret. So we don't know when that exotic quest will launch, but I'm hoping it'll be very, very soon. Yeah, it looks as though that's it. So that's your information regarding Season of Arrivals. And we are finished. Thank you for watching, everybody. Enjoy Season 11, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.